Hi and welcome to PhotoDirector. We're going to produce this leaflet from this image using layers. We're going to use photo layers, we're going to use shape layers, and finally text layers. We're now in our main library. We've selected our main image that we want to be our base layer and we'll open up our layers editing module in the top bar here. This gives us our image as our background layer. What we want to do now is to add a new layer and we do that with the add new layer button. We're going to add a photo layer. That will give us a dialog box where we can choose which photo we wish to use. And it is presented to us as another layer and it is on top of our main background layer. The first thing you might notice is that the lake layer is actually of a slightly different size and we really need to resize it. So we can select our pick and move tool and that allows us to show the boundary boxes and we can choose a corner, make it a little larger, centralize it so that it covers our main background layer and that's our job done. Except of course it's covered the whole of the background layer so we can choose to change its opacity. So we will drop it down to that to give us a nice blended layer. The next thing you should notice is that each layer has an adjustment and really that gives us almost the full adjustment possibilities for any photo and we can choose to edit our photo layer much the same as we do with any other image. I'm not going to do anything because it's very faint so we don't need to. Now that we've got our nicely blended backgrounds it's time to put in the main text. So we will add a new layer and this time we'll add an empty layer and it's placed on top of the other two here. If I right click I can rename that layer and I will put in main text. Press the OK and that gives our layer a title. We were going to make it into a text layer so we use the text tool. This allows us to choose the font, the font style, the font size, the text color and we have a full range of color picker spectrum here. We can have a border and a shadow each with their own colors. When I click on the main image it gives me a dialog box and I can paste in my main text. We can use the boundary box markers to resize and we can move inside and format our text. If we move outside we can move our text and place it appropriately and we press the OK button. And there is our main text placed. You also need to notice that we can switch each layer off with the eye icon. And what's very important about layers is they're non-destructive. So no layer affects the layer beneath it. Now that we've added our main text, it's time to add a shape layer. As usual, we will add an empty layer, but this time we will use the shape tool. I'm going to rename it as shape one. I have selected a rectangle with rounded corners. I've chosen the size that I want and I've chosen the color. If I left click it will automatically place the rectangle that I want. I can then move to my move and pick tool and position my shape. I can change the opacity because it's too blocky and there we have a shape layer. 
Now all we need to do is add another text layer, another photo layer and a final text layer. Don't forget that the layers can be reordered. If I highlight the star text and I drop it down, the text will disappear because it's behind the gold star. We'll move it back up again and it will reappear. And finally, we can save our completed file to the new PHI format using the Save To function. The PHI format keeps all the layer editing data and is also read directly by PowerDirector. Lastly and most importantly, let's have a look at the way layers can blend together. We'll start a new image. I'm going to duplicate the layer so that I have two background layers that are identical. The top layer I'm going to desaturate to make it into monochrome. And as you would expect, using a normal blending mode and 100% opacity, all we see is a monochrome. If I use an overlay blending mode, you'll see a dramatic effect. We don't need to have that quite so dramatic. We can tone it down a little bit. But that is how blending modes work. And there are a number of blending modes to choose from. The best thing to do is to experiment with them, but the help file has some general information on how the differing blending modes work. So that's layers. It's a great tool. Thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.